Hey, hi, welcome to Automotive Functional Safety Sessions. So I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today we would like to discuss about software tool qualification as per ISO 26262 2018. So let us get to the topic in the next slides. So why do we require tool qualification? So we use numerous software tools and there is no doubt that these tools may introduce or fail to detect errors in software which we are deploying. Software tool qualification is a common requirement in, so in safety critical engineering. Tool qualification is discussed in part 8 clause number 11 uh, which is called confidence in the uses of software tools. So this entire clause uh, can be further uh, categorized as two different phases. So one is tool classification or tool planning. The second thing is tool qualification. So this the next topic is overview. So your overview uh, it involves two phases. So tool qualification tool qualification as a second part and tool classification as the first part so when you see the first block so it will have uh, as a first step it will have the tool uses you have to write all the use cases of the tool uh, so each and every tool might have one to n number of use cases and the second step involves tool impact so you have to identify the impact of the tool if the tool doesn't have any impact on your software uh, which you are developing then it is segregated as TI1 if the tool is impacting your software under production then it is classified as TI2 the third step is TD or tool error determination so TD1 TD2 TD3 are the categories TD1 is high TD level so your tool error detection level is high your tool error detection level is medium in case of td2 it it will be low in case of td3 so all this td1 or ti1 combinations will result in your tcl level 1 so tcl a uh, tool confidence level 1 is uh, is a place like where we have to stop the tool qualification activity because it does not require tool classification tool qualification and your TCL2 and TCL3 needs tool qualification so uh, for 2 and 3 we will do and is a, as an input you will have pre assil determination as an input so uh, here a b c d are the methods which we uh, do to uh, to to do tool qualification so let us we can discuss in the further slides about these methods your first block is tool classification the tool planning is further into two different steps uh, tool chain definition which involves the tool structure definition and the use cases so what uh, it in it should have is your use cases and relevant tool features and all the required artifacts so the second thing is tool chain analysis tool chain analysis will have all the possible potential errors and known bugs available checks and restrictions these all data you will get as an from the tool vendor website or any other tool review uh, websites or any uh, any other means so the vendor itself uh, he himself will provide the known er known bugs and uh, this all available checks and restrictions is all details he will provide and some we will assume and we will write this tool classification or tool planning activity so uh, the second block is tool qualification tool qualification will have four different methods so based on the assay levels these are 
recommended and highly recommended but these all four are uh, required for the essay levels so your a method is increased confidence for you from uses use need to have a particular uh, previous project so which was uh, using the same tool versions and where we can demonstrate that the tool did not show any malfunction so but in new projects the tool chain and tool versions do slightly change most of the time meaning that this method is often not applicable so uh, the second method is evaluation of the development process this requires a detailed analysis of tool development process obviously a user would not take the time to visit the tool providers and perform a time consuming assessment of the entire tool development process but of course tool providers can invest into a generic pre qualification with an authority like german tube or tuv to uh, provide the results of uh, of this measure of friend to the users uh, the third method or the c method is validation of the software tool this basically means that we need to develop a test suite which covers all use use cases of the software tool according to the iso 26262 part 8 11.4.9 clause this can be done either by the user or by the tool vendor if the tool vendor is able to invest in this it can of course dramatically reduce or eliminate efforts of the user side so and the fourth method or the d method is development in accordance with the soft the to the safety standard tools involved in embedded software development are mostly pc based tools and typically not developed according to a safety standard so what are the work products which we have in as a part of tool qualification activity so you will have software tool qualification plan or stqp uh, this involves the entire planning for the qualification of a software tool to be documented to be written here also it will have unique id of the software version number of the tool uh, use cases and uh, environment description user manual and the predefined asl all these all details to be mentioned uh, as part of your stqp and uh, the second uh, work product is tool called software tool documentation so it will have description of features description of the installation process user manual operating environment expected behavior in abnormal conditions so the third work product is tool software tool classification analysis uh, so this is also called as stqa so which involves uh, or uh, which involves ti td uh, determination uh, and it involves the determination of tcl based on ti and td combinations as described in the previous slides so your fourth work product is software tool qualification report so this is the entire this is an outcome of the entire process so the results are evidences of tool qualification and requirements fulfilled any malfunctions or erroneous outputs during validation should be analyzed and documented here so some tips on tool qualification so do do tool qualification uh, planning on time so we need to do after pre assel determination and uh, before developing uh, before start of the development of the of your uh, of your software uh, consider cots uh, tool qualification package issue so you will have a lot of confidence when uh, the vendor the tool vendor or the tool provider says like we are adhere means like our particular tool is developed based on all the standards all the automotive standards that's when you'll have a confidence level uh, in buying that tool but wherein you have to evaluate uh, or you have to determine the tool qualification 
of the particular tool uh, if we if you ignore in the beginning then you may need to do it in the middle of the project so which will which in that's when like you will not have any time in between and you will be in rush to do all these activities so uh, even if it is course also we need to do tool qualification at the beginning of the project itself and the third thing is qualify only required tool functionality since tool qualification is costly so when you are writing your use cases itself like you have to say you have to um tweak all the applicable uh, use cases use cases uh, to your uh, uh, software development only uh, so because tool qualification activity is costly which involves resources which involves time which involves efforts everything so uh, your tool qualification is costly evaluate tool qualification criteria correctly so once we have evaluated tool qualification so then we need to validate it as well so we need to validate the sl sl level we need to validate the tool qualification level itself like tcl levels also uh, after some time so uh, when you evaluate it in the beginning when the in the evaluation time itself like if you evaluated it correctly so it will uh save a lot of rework consider tool chain uses accurately so this is uh, these all the tips from my end uh, so if you have any uh, any other uh, doubts so you can write to me to my email uh, so thanks for your time so uh, if you like this concept click on like button if you want furthermore automotive concepts subscribe to my channel thank you